the day. My tongue's not too bad today, so jobs are good. In the end, I had a sandwich when I got home, so I didn't have to eat too much. Give me mouth a bit of a break style thing, so it's not too bad now. That's the one good thing about tongues, they do heal quite quickly, don't they? Um, why can't they heal as fast as the rest of the body, eh? <laughs> but anyway, today is a Sunday. I'm in the same unit I was in yesterday. So I know everything is fine with it. I don't have to worry about spending time checking to make sure nothing's gone wrong, because that's what I do at the end of my day. It's one of the reasons it takes me a little while longer in the yard than some of the other drivers, because I actually make sure that the vehicle I give in is ready for the next driver. He's not going to have to defect it. I've already done it. So, it's just, it's, it's the way some of the companies, or at least one of the companies, that I, the other company I run for, hold on a second, the other company that I run for operates. You know, you do a pre-check and then you do a post-check. Well, if you get the same vehicle you checked the night before and you know it's good. And this hasn't moved in 16 hours, 48 minutes. So I know I'm the last person to have driven it. But anyway, what I am going to do, finish my paperwork. I have Cambridge, Wellingborough. Now, yesterday I did it just over seven hours. I get paid for eight hours. So when I get a Cambridge Welling, but as long as I do it, within eight hours, jobs are good. I'm going to see if I can crank today out again. Did I have a thing? Oh no, it reset itself. Fair enough. But, see what the uh, traffic's like. The thing is, bizarrely enough, on a Sunday, the traffic is worse. Hmm. It's just because of um, retail operating hours. You see, on a Saturday, you've got some time to get down there, whereas on a Sunday, you've got a small window of opportunity. And so the traffic ends up being far worse. So it's going to be interesting to see whether I can... It was exactly seven hours, wasn't it? Hold on, let's... I'll just double check. Yeah, I started at 12.30, finished at 19.30, so it was exactly seven hours is what I wanted to do. Um, I'm going to see whether I can do it again. I'm going to go exactly the same way. So hopefully, it'll be a nice little comparison, see which day is quicker. I'm starting at 12 today, so I'll be at the yard earlier, but I started at 12, so my goal, where's that going to go? Oh, that's done. Yeah. My goal is to be finished by 1900. But anyway, I'm going to crack on, see how I get on.
bridge done. <laughs> nice and easy. I am currently running. Oh, what am I doing here? Wake up, wake up. Lovely. I'm currently running. Let's have a look. I left here at 15.38. Two minutes to three at the moment, so I'm running basically 40 minutes ahead. So I'm going to keep up the charge, and I'm going to I'm just cranking today out so that I can have a longer weekend than normal. Uh, oh no, it's 14, isn't it? Silly bastard! So that I can have a longer weekend than normal. So here we go. Let's crack on, and I shall see you when I get to Wellingborough. Lovely, lovely. That's us at Wellingborough. Job's good. How am I doing? It's it's 16:20 at the minute. Got lots of driving time left. So drop this. Train I'm picking up just there. And then crack on because, like I said, I'm pushing it today just to get home. Just to end my week, have a couple of days, have a couple of beers, you know. <laughs> and just relax for a change. I've had so much going on. I've actually got a couple of days. We've got, because um, obviously I live in a rental. Uh, we've got an inspection tomorrow. Nothing major. It is what it is. There's a couple of areas of damp in that place. They know about it. It's up to the owners what they're going to do. It's not causing any major issues. Mm. Keep on top of that, obviously. I've got a dehumidifier, so that should help. Um, but outside of that, I've got literally nothing to do. I can relax. <laughs> Although knowing me, I'll probably find something to do. Mm. But anyway, I'm going to drop this, crack on over there, because that's my trailer. Pick it up, bugger off, and see how I do. So, see you in a bit.
So that's me done. Turn that off. That's me done for the day, hopefully. <laughs> and, 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 the glorious time I need to finish was 7 pm. The time I have actually, or I will actually finish once I've done all of this and taken the card out and that, is 7 pm, 1900. So again, I've done exactly the same. Seven hours. Um, which is odd. And it kind of goes back to that every journey is individual. Yesterday, I started at 12.30 and I left at 13.30. I started at 12 and I left at 12.42, so I was ahead. But I was way ahead. Or I was over 45 minutes ahead. About virtually virtually 50 minutes ahead of yesterday and I finished today at 1900 yesterday at 1930 and it's weird because I'm looking at the times and I got to Cambridge at 1400 yesterday I got there at 1452 I left at 1459 yesterday I left at 1538 and I'm, I'm looking at it all up uh, I'm adding it all together, and it's really bizarre, because I should have been, earlier I should have been finishing about half six. It's really odd when I'm adding it all together. It's, it's just odd, because I've been going flat out. I mean, you'll see the um, fleet ball stuff that I usually put at the end. I've just recorded it. But, yes, anyway, that's enough for the day, as far as I'm concerned. Ah, no, there is something else. I'm not superstitious, but, and I always hate people who say things like that, I'm not this, but. <laughs> but I'm going to say it. I'm not superstitious, but there is a bay in this yard. I swear it is, th it's Satan's parking bay. A little while ago, quite a while ago actually, I was reversing into this particular bay. Very bay. And I hit the trailer on my blind side. I went into shallow and conked the trailer. A couple of days ago, Drive Rhino, exactly the same bay, did exactly the same thing. Slightly too shallow, conked the trailer. Yep. Today I come back and I've gone to go into that very bay. Two trailers either side. I started to go back and I thought, oh, I've lined up wrong, so I'll just do it again. It does happen. We all make mistakes. So I've lined up again, and I've gone to do it again, and I'm still going in wrong. But, this, but I've lined up again, completely differently, and I'm still going in wrong. So I just got fed up and I drove all the way round, and there was a bay about six or seven trailers down, and I lined up to that one straight in first time. It, it's that blasted bay. I'm not superstitious, but I am with that bay. I know a few people who've conked in that bay as well. There's something odd about it. It's, it's one literally directly opposite transport well you see it's a couple down from there because you've got the zebra crossing and then you've got uh, transport bits and bobs like that but it's kind of you've got transport then you've got smoking hut and it's the one opposite there it's the same one it's got voodoo on it but anyway that's enough of that I'm going to finish this end my day go in go home everyone's happy so thanks for watching like, subscribe, share about, do whatever it is you usually do. See you in the next one. Whenever that will be. Um...